Hey, Happy New Year guys! Hope you had a great 2019 and wish you all have a better 2020. Today I wanted to start out with some good news but this is news that I actually wanted to avoid but I thought it was proper to get the word out to you guys. On January 1st, JYP Entertainment has released a statement saying that during the twice flight from Japan to Korea, a foreign stalker tried to approach Nyan several times on the plane and caused some discomfort. Fortunately, Nyan suffered no physical damages but was quite shaken up by this and is feeling uncomfortable and anxious due to this incident. So far, it has not been revealed who the stalker or the Sazing fan is, but from JYP's statement, mentioning that the stalker has been following Nyan for quite some time and that JYP has been giving out warnings to this person, heads are turning towards the person that we most know of and who has been stalking Nyan for quite a while now. And the fans and the public seem to know this too, the person from Germany, I don't want to say his name since there might be legal issues, but you probably all know who we are assuming here. For those of you who are completely new to this news, please check out our link in the description below for the video explaining on how all this began. This man said that Nayeon and he had known each other for a long time, and by the time that she got to know him better, they would probably go out and start dating. He also said that if Nayeon didn't accept him, he would not give up and follow her until she would accept him. Pretty crazy, right? He visited Korea twice looking for Nayeon, wandering and asking people of Nayeon's whereabouts, so well, simply to put it, stalking Nayeon. He even visited JYP and ultimately it is believed that he received restraining orders from the Korean police and we all know this because he was the one posting all his activities on Twitter, Instagram and YouTube. So pretty safe to say that this person is not sane, right? Well after JYP refused his visit, it was then that things got more heated as he complained that JYP was giving wrong ideas into Nayeon's head and because of people making him the bad guy, Nayeon was afraid of him. He even said what JYP was doing to him was illegal, so he was just blaming everyone else but himself. This showed that this person is not in the right state of mind or really wants so much attention and is thinking that this is all a joke. It is true that Korea's law is pretty forgiving, especially to foreigners, and maybe he knows this and is taking advantage of this, but whatever he has been doing seemed to quiet down for a while until today. While we do assume it is the same person, Following a fan on a plane and then trying to come in contact with the person forcefully in a plane in a restricted area where there is nowhere else to go is not the right thing to do to anyone, whether it is a person or a celebrity. JYPE is stating that they are taking the situation more seriously and continues in their statement that due to the incident, Nayeon is currently under police protection. JYP warned the stalker several times to stop his actions but he ignored their warnings and raised his voice, intensifying the situation with problematic behaviors. As a result, JYP will be taking the highest level of legal action available against the person. But another big problem here is that he was able to get on the same exact plane Nayeon was going to take, meaning that this information are being sold illegally. Before being a celebrity, Nayeon is also a person who must be respected with one's privacy. Speaking of Sazeng fans, V from BTS recently talked about the exact same situation during V Live, why BTS has to take a chartered flight due to the Sazeng fans knowing the flight information and sitting right next to or in front of them during the entire flight, causing great discomfort to the stars. He asked not to do this and they were really scared in these situations. Thus, JYP also stated that they would be investigating this illegal selling of these information of artists and they would try to find a solution to all these matters not just for short term but in long term. They concluded by apologizing to the passengers on the flight who felt discomforted by the situation. It was great that JYP apologized but I don't think anybody will be blaming JYP nor Nyan for this. I hope that JYP will resolve this stalker situation soon and put an end to this by taking necessary legal matters. I wish that Nayeon is well and that this event does not give her any trauma. Well that's it for today, if you liked what you saw please hit the like button and subscribe and be sure to turn on the alarm to not miss out on any of my new upcoming videos. Happy new year guys!